Hey guys, it's M. Welcome back to another creature feature. This is not going too well. Remember to hit that subscribe button down below, become part of the Creature Crew, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single creature feature. Today, I want to introduce you to a bit of an oddity. If I showed you this guy, what would you immediately think that he was? Five, four, three, two, one. At first glance, you might think that this is a snake, but you're absolutely wrong. This is not a snake at all, despite there not being any legs. This is actually a shelter pusic or a glass lizard. Are you a freaky lizard? Yes. So how can you tell that this is a lizard and not a snake? Well, there's a couple of ways that you can do this. Number one, glass lizards have ear holes, which snakes don't. Also, glass lizards can blink. You'll never find a snake blinking because snakes don't have eyelids. Are you pretending to play dead? No. <laughs> so you see, he's not a snake at all. He is indeed a true lizard. Glass lizards come from Europe as well as Asia, but you do get species of them in other countries. In America, you get the American legless lizard, and in the UK, we get the most gorgeous animal called a slow worm, which is a kind of legless lizard as well. Just really, really cute. Now, if a glass lizard felt very threatened, there's a few things that they can do to protect themselves. The first thing they do is try and shoot off at high speed to safety and they can move very very fast the second thing they can do is they can hiss and they make a horrible hissing sound that makes them sound like a snake that's basically saying buddy do not touch me I do not want to be touched number three they can bite they have incredibly powerful jaws yes they do they have incredibly powerful jaws and they're not afraid to use them if they really want. The other thing they can do is they can wiggle in a circle, which you might do right now, there you go. They can actually wiggle around and around trying to break away. It's very similar to a crocodile's death roll, but it's not to try and disembowel their prey. That's just to try and get away from whatever's holding them. The last thing they can do is they can perform caudal autotomy. Caudal Caudal meaning the tail, and autotomy is when an animal can break off its own tail, and the glass lizard can do that. There are many other kinds of lizards which can perform caudal autotomy, some which you might be familiar with are the leopard gecko and the crested gecko, as well as the tegu. However, not every lizard can regenerate its tail. So the crested gecko cannot regenerate its tail, the glass lizard can regenerate its tail. Over millions of years, the shelter pussic has evolved to get to a point where it doesn't even need those legs anymore. There are examples of evolution in the making within the lizard world. If you look at the blue tongue skink, which you may be familiar with, the blue tongue skink has really funny legs that are starting to disappear. So who knows, in another couple of thousand years, they might not have any legs whatsoever and will end up looking a bit more like the glass lizard. Glass lizards have the ability to live a very long time. In captivity it's not unusual to have specimens as old as 30 years. However, the world record for the oldest captive glass lizard goes up to 54 years old, which is a very old lizard indeed. Another thing that glass lizards can do if they feel threatened is they can actually musk similar to snakes. So what they'll do is they basically squirt this horrible liquid, it stinks and it sticks to you and it basically smells like rotting eggs and just nasty things. So um, you also could get musked on. So far today I'm doing pretty well because I haven't been musked, which is what this guy tends to do, or bite. Glass lizards are carnivorous. They're obligate carnivores, meaning that they only eat meat. What these guys love to eat in the wild, they'll eat all sorts of invertebrates. Snails are one of their favorites. They'll also eat frogs, they'll eat smaller lizards, they'll eat small birds if they can find them, carrion, things like uh, roadkill or dead animals, and they can even catch mice. You can see that the glass lizard, just like Terry the Tegu, uses his tongue to taste the air. He uses that for smelling. So like many other lizards, they use that tongue, they throw it out, they use it to taste the air, it reports back to something called the Jacobson's organ, and that helps them to taste the air for food, for prey, and to follow trails to find mates. You might also be wondering whether or not the glass lizard is venomous. It's not venomous. They don't have any venom whatsoever. They're totally, totally armless and legless. <laughs>
Thank you guys so much for watching this creature feature. Remember to hit that subscribe button down below if you liked it. Give it a thumbs up as well if you enjoyed the video. And I will see you in another creature feature very, very soon. Bye!